another topic, several fans were writing reviews that also defied science, so I felt the need to bring them up. <clears throat> Brittany, this is a real person. Alice, <laughs> Alice Clayton strikes again, seducing me with her real woman sex appeal, unparalleled wit and addicting snark, leaving me laughing, blushing, and craving. Knock all the paintings off the wall. What? Sex of my very own. Impossible, I say. <laughs> so, to the drawing board. <laughs> <laughs> These are force equations. <laughs> force equals mass times acceleration. Acceleration is equal to velocity over time, and force therefore equals mass times velocity over time, which is momentum. Sex momentum, people. Let's get to it. Ball bangers, a 28-year-old male. He's fit, so he probably weighs around 175 pounds. This is a romantic novel written by a woman, so let's assume the female's weightless. The mattress. I like it. The mattress is thick foam and probably firm because he has a beard. Let's say it weighs about 150 pounds. The bed frame, thick mahogany, also some kind of weird boner thing. What he's into? He's a man's man. 250 pounds. Box spring, 50 pounds. Headboard, also wood, laden with leather, which we find out in the book. Of course, it's got leather in it. 125 pounds. Also, adding about 50 pounds, 15 pounds for sheets. We're in San Fran, people. We don't need heavy diamonds here, okay? We don't need big stuff. <laughs> in total, we're looking at about 750 pounds or 340 kilograms. But that's not the weight. You gotta multiply it by 9.8 meters per second squared, the acceleration of gravity. Hello? Which is 3,334 newtons of downward force. Why do we need to know that, Matt? I don't know, because friction comes into play. <laughs> is represented by the Greek letter mu, this little guy down here. And no, Adam, not the Pokemon. Please, <laughs> 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 So anyway, now that we know what the downward force is and that, we multiply it by 0.45 friction coefficient for wood, and we find out that we need a horizontal force of 1,500 newtons in order to make this bed move people. Hmm. <laughs> But, we all know you don't fuck completely horizontal, you fuck at a downward angle of 30 degrees. The cosine of theta equals F fuck horizontal, this angle, over top of F fuck total. That's the total amount of energy he's pounding down on this lady. It is 1,732 newtons, safe for the human body. But, on the other side. Painting's only probably weigh one pound, maybe a little bit more, but when you're talking about a 72 inch wide bed, hitting a wall that's spaced apart probably every 16 inches of two by four, you're gonna have to hit that wall with 4,500 newtons of force in order to knock that painting off. What's the math on that, Matt? I don't know, let's look into it. <laughs> we know that the kinetic friction force of that bed, that is kinetic as in friction in motion, people. This is not friction at a standstill. This bed is in motion from his fucking. Has to equal 4,500 newtons minus the total fuck horizontal. <laughs> that gives us a horizontal fucking force of 5,167 roundup newtons. Putting it back into F total, we come out with 5,966 newtons of total fuck force coming down on this girl's pelvis. You guys, the human pelvis can only take 4,000 pounds, 4,000 newtons, excuse me, of force before it shatters. Mind you, in this scenario, we have created what I like to call the Knight of Roxbury effect, where the wall becomes a Steve Butabi and Simon becomes a Doug Butabi. And this girl is just getting ping pong back and forth between the after all, all day. So I'm talking about. 50, almost 6,000 newtons of force is banging away at this lady's crotch. Relentlessly. Poor lady. Very poor lady. 